All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, I'll be going over my top 10 god rolls, the 10 best god rolls that I had in my vault. I had to spend a good amount of time sifting through so many different weapons to narrow it down specifically to 10. I had to choose. I was, I was sitting at about 14 for a little bit, and I was like, no, it's got to be 10. 10 is the number I'm looking for, and I want to do this. I want to review other people's vaults and their top 10 god roll selections after this to see what weapons you have, what weapons you're hanging on in that vault. So without further ado, let's go over my five out of five. I don't really like that term too much, but my five out of five, the best God rolls I have in my vault. First up, we'll go over the Sacred Provenance. I have a Kill Clip, Rapid Hit, High Caliber Rounds, Airhead Break, and Stability Masterwork Sacred Provenance. I have made a few gameplay videos with this thing, and it is just so so nice to use in pvp i mean the synergy between kill clip and rapid hit is so nice um it even increases the stability along with the reload which couldn't you couldn't ask for a better perk to go with kill clip right high caliber rounds be flinching people like crazy airhead break we got that perfectly vertical recoil i throw counterbalance stock on it i think that's even overkill i think that might be too much but still it's a hundred vertical recoil and we get even more stability with this masterwork this thing is so much fun to use it's not even a meta weapon but it feels like it because the god roll of this weapon makes this weapon so so nice so that's the first one we'll cover the second one is my night watch this is something i will be using in the witch queen especially because we know we have scout anti-champion mods and we have an explosive payload rapid hit uh, tactical mag hammer forged rifling and handling masterwork night watch here this thing is obviously used specifically for pve whereas the last weapon the sacred providence was for pvp in PvE, this thing is such a beast. Explosive Payload just does that double damage proc, and that will be really nice for stunning champions and for using it at really long ranges because the lack of damage drop off. So keep that in mind. Very, very strong weapon there. Next, we'll go over my Fatebringer Time Lost. I've used this thing in PvP so, so, so many times. This is my 5 out of 5 roll, the, the weapon I love using the most. We've got Eye of the Storm, Explosive Payload. We're using a Pended Mag to get that little bit bigger magazine. And I do have Fluted Barrel and Hammer Force Rifling. Both are great options. Personally, I would rock Fluted Barrel because you get a little more stability and that handling feel is so, so nice. And a ranged masterwork with Adept Icarus Grip on this bad boy because it's a time loss weapon. This thing is so nice. Obviously, I don't even have to tell you about this. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you've been watching for a while, you know I use this thing so much. I love this thing. I've only recently been using the IS Luna more, even though my IS Luna is far from a god roll. I've only been using it more just because it's a new weapon, something to use. And uh, But I will be going back to using this probably pretty soon here. Next up, in the energy slot now, I have four weapons we need to talk about, and it's not the Stubborn Oak. I put these weapons on here as placeholders. The Retro Futurist. Now, not a meta shotgun by any means, but look at the roll I have on this. When this thing dropped, I mean, my eyes bugged out of my head. I was like, how? How? How, how did this happen? Snapshot, Quick Draw, Assault Mag, Full Choke, Range Masterwork. Oh, it's so nice. And... This weapon, it's not a meta shotgun by any means, but with this roll, it feels so nice. In fact, I'll have to bring you some gameplay with using this thing pretty soon here because this, this Retro Futurist just slaps in PV, PvP. So nice. Such a strong weapon. Next up, we'll talk about my Thousand Earth Stair. I actually had two god rolls of this. We got Snapshot. We got Firmly Planted. We got Accurized Rounds. So we get a little bit better um, uh, hitbox detection there with that. A little bit increased to range. I also could just go to Flared Magwell if I really want. Got options, okay? We got options. And then we got Fluted Barrel and the Handling Masterwork. Oh, this Thousand Yard Stair is beast. I love this thing. This thing is so, so nice. So much fun to use in PvP. Next up, we're talking about my Plug 1.1 Adept God Roll. We got Reservoir Burst. We got Feeding Frenzy. We got Accelerated Coils and a Charge Time Masterwork and Fluted Barrel for that handling. So nice. This thing is a beast. We're throwing major spec on this bad boy. We're clearing ads. This is a PvE weapon, of course. We're not rocking this thing in PvP. Not this roll, at least. And so, I love that. I'm super happy that that finally dropped for me. I still remember when that dropped. That was a nice. That was a good day. Now we're going on to my Gnawing Hunger. The Gnawing Hunger Go Burt. I made a recent video using this bad boy. This thing is nice. We got Kill Clip on this. We got Tap the Trigger. Turn this thing into an absolute laser. Accurized Rounds for that extended range. Airhead break for that vertical recoil, range masterwork, and then we could throw a quick access link. We could throw a few different mods on this, honestly, but this roll and this weapon is just so much fun to use in PvP. Like I I can't I could use this all day, every day. 
the only problem is you know it's still kind of a hand cannon meta so people will peek shoot you and stuff and you'll get you'll get outgunned a little bit but i still remember back when this was the meta and everyone was using these 600 rpms and that was a very different time i miss it a little bit i miss the auto rifle meta just a little bit not the hard light i don't miss the hard light but i miss the auto rifle meta just a little bit now we're going on to the power weapons all right got three kinetics four energies and three god world power weapons first and foremost the hot head adept the big golden rocket we got here explosive light on this bad boy the highest damage boost you can get on this we got field prep on it we got the impact casing and the hard launch that greatly increased projectile speed a little bit of handling mass work of course we're putting adept big ones on this bad boy this is such a nice roll a five out of five roll super strong in pve uh super happy that this dropped for me in fact i got like two or three that dropped with very comparable rolls but this was the the best one this was like the five out of five roll so i definitely had to hang on to this bad boy and moving on to the next one we'll talk about the falling guillotine which has a sort of a double god roll of sorts i have surrounded and whirlwind because we got this dual perks here and um this thing i mean if you know you know right if you know you know this thing was the king of pv for a long time this is all you needed you equip your falling guillotine you're good to go could run through every activity it's not the same anymore but it still is very strong and having the five out of five god roll of this feels really nice in fact it might even be like a six out of six god roll of sorts with the double perks here which kind of adds a cool element to god rolls and we'll see what bungie ends up doing with uh you know weapons in the future we'll see if we end up having six out of six god roll might be the new terminology we'll use and then last but certainly not least in fact this might even be my most rare weapon because this sword is so very, very hard to get. We have the other half, a god roll of this bad boy. We got Surrounded on it, so of course we're rocking Surrounded spec. Now, Surrounded is a really good perk, especially on swords, because you have to be close to them, right? You gotta be close to them. And Surrounded spec, this is a huge damage boost to this weapon. Eager Edge is really the key to this thing, though. This thing makes this so much fun flying around. You already know about sword skating. I've flown into a thousand walls, fly across in PvP, PvE. Eager Edge is crazy right now. We got Sword Master's Guard on this. We got Jagged Edge. Of course, Impact on all the swords. So there it is. Those are my top 10. And when I tell you I had a, a hard time narrowing this down, I mean, I had a hard time. There were some serious good rolls that I had to throw out. But I want to know, let me know down in the comment section below, what are your top 10 god rolls? What are your, you don't have to go through all top 10, but let me know what god rolls you hang on to and you're most proud of. You were so surprised when you finally got it to draw for you. I mean, there's the the god roll of the weapon and then there's the difficulty of getting that weapon to drop is a factor in a lot of these right like getting the god roll of the plug one regularly is one thing but getting the god roll of the plug 1.1 adept is even more difficult because you have to go through the difficulty of beating the freaking grandmaster which takes a while you know and the same thing with like this hot head adept and then same thing with like the other half like this thing is so unbelievably rare getting a god roll of this feels really really nice so some of these weapons I would cherish, even if they got Sunset, which it's not going to happen anymore. But even if they got Sunset, I would literally still hang on to them because uh, of the rarity of them. So that's a wrap. Those are my top 10. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, smash the like button, and maybe I'll be doing some reviews of some viewers and subscribers out there of your top 10 weapons for some videos. So that's just a video idea I'm throwing at you. I'll see you in the next one, though. Thanks for watching. Later.